I'm not afraid of you. I'll play you. There it is. Pretty bad southern accents that are going on. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty grim to listen to. Wait a minute. Yeah. I, I, wait. Was that the pepper bit or the? Uh, no, it's no, there's no mints. Oh, oh you got no tricked by that, yeah. Carl? Sorry, I'm right here. Uh, just put it up there. Yeah, I'll be back. Hey, Gwen. You know how to? You got a
Oh, let's see what I have failing. Okay. Dirty dog. <laughs> that's me. I mean, yeah, that's me. I see it. Well done. Darn it! I was in big trouble. You were just rolling. I know. Over. I just so I was so low on time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I burned a lot of time early. I, yeah. I think I probably had was objectively better there at the end. Yeah. Hey guys, Brian here. What a great finish by Duck. It looked like he was gonna be toast. I mean, you got two connected passers on the sixth. Backed up soon to be by these rooks, bishops, and knights, and just, oh man, the most dangerous moment comes before victory. I forgot who said that, some famous general, I assume, and what a, what a great mate by Duck. If you guys are wondering what the mate would have been, boom, boom, and pawn controlling the escape square. Wow. Nicely done, Duck. That was epic, man. <laughs> Brilliantly done. If you guys want to get Duck coffee for that sweet, sweet mate out of nowhere, his link is in the video description. And Shrinko, man, it looked like he was kind of winning this game. But look at this eval bar. Computer has the game dead even. What the heck is going on? So what do you play here as white knowing you have d7 here? By the way, Shrinko, Shrinko played a great game here. Great game. We'll go over kind of where his biggest advantage was a little bit earlier as well. 
Um, but for this position, first off, yeah, you gotta make room, right? Uh, let's say rook g f1. And going back here real quick, notice you can't you can't do this because of this. So it's actually force mate in five. So going back here, rook g f1. Bishop takes, bishop takes, knight takes, and secure that pawn. But here comes black's pawns, and uh, this could be one continuation. And boom, notice that you can't take this because it'll queen knight guarding the uh, queen square. So uh, this could be one way to go. And when the dust has settled, the game is dead even here at 0, 0.0. It sure doesn't look like it, though, visually speaking, right? Like, man, these pawns are going to be nasty rolling, but... That is how crazy endgame can be. And as for Shrinko's um, biggest advantage in the game, it was 2.2 and A4 went to it down to 1.7. What would be another move for white here? Yes, maybe go for the fork and then get rid of that bishop. And now uh, you can push D6. Open up these light squares for your bishop, all your pawns, nice pawn chain here on dark squares, and white is in business here, winning at 2.4. So, whew, man, just goes to show you how that how true that saying is, the most dangerous moment comes before victory. It sure did look like victory, but what a nice sneaky mate by Duck to finish off with the rook sack, man. A lot of nice rook sack mates <laughs> in the last couple of games, so... Beautifully done, Duck. Great fight, Shrinko. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game. Comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe at the Bell of Kitchen. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.